hi everyone today we are going to uh, make a, a video on varicose veins uh, varicosal hydrosyl problems in our health problems and uh, natural remedies okay this is how it follows list of juices list of concoctions diet plan with millets exercise the most important part and what to avoid what to avoid means what foods to avoid what to consume and what to avoid okay right so first in the list of juices uh, uh, one first week you have to take tomato juice second week ivy got juice third week capsicum juice okay consume these uh, juices one variety per week on empty stomach for nine weeks at least okay that means after uh, third week uh, you have to repeat this cycle okay and 30 minutes gap is needed between juice and the concoction okay on empty stomach you will be drinking this juice after 30 minutes you can take concoction okay on empty stomach means you can consume uh, water if you want okay you can take water uh, let's uh, let's say you woke up at 5 am in the morning uh you can drink 1 uh, liter or 1 and 1/2 liter of water okay if you drink 1 liter of water at 6 am you have to take this juice okay if you are consuming 1 uh, and 1/2 liter uh, early uh, in the morning uh, wait for 1 and 1/2 hour okay that means at 6:30 you can have this juice okay like that coming to the concoctions uh, first one is golden apple leaves okay also called as bay leaves okay uh, take 3 uh, to 4 leaves to make concoction okay ivy got plant leaves see the leaf is very big in size so take 2 or 3 two are enough okay to make concoction next night jasmine uh, take 4 to 5 leaves to make concoction next papaya leaves see the leaf is uh, quite bigger than any other leaf okay so better to take only 1/10 uh, of the leaf okay that means up to here okay to make concoction okay take any any one of the parts of these 6 uh, to 8 8 branches okay in the leaf itself curry leaves take 20 to 25 leaves to make concoction okay if you cannot consume concoction uh, uh, as it is you can add palm jaggery in it okay So this is the plan. First week golden apple leaves, second week ivy got leaves, third week night jasmine leaves, fourth week papaya leaves, fifth week curry leaves. After fifth week, you will go back to first week again. Okay, you have to repeat this cycle till the recovery. Okay, concoctions are must till the recovery. And if you do not find any one of the leaves, still continue with the remaining uh, concoctions. Okay, let's say you didn't get ivy got. In the second week itself, you should go to night jasmine, and then repeat. okay forty five minutes to one hour gap is needed between concoction and the next meal okay let's say at six thirty you had your concoction maybe at seven thirty you can have your meal okay like that so coming to the um, millet uh, diet uh, little millets for three days that means you have to consume everything with little millets only for all these three days okay if you are uh, taking three meals take these three meals with little millets if you are having only two meals per day have these two millets with uh, two meals with little millets okay next kodo millet for three days barnyard millet for one day fox tail millet for one day brown top millet for one day okay let's say if you are allergic to uh, if your body doesn't support with any one of the millet let's say kodo millet if you are allergic to kodo millet you can skip this one continue with the remaining millets okay diet plan eat these millets alternately for this 9 day schedule yes repeat this sequence till you get recovered from the disease no rice no bread no wheat products till the recovery Use only wood pressed oils or uh, bull driven gunny oils. Bull driven oils. Okay. How to cook millets? Millets either like rice or make millet porridge. 
cooking it like rice add three glass of water for one glass of millet soak it for eight hours cook it either on a open top vessel or in a pressure cooker but avoid pressure cooking if you have enough amount of time making millet porridge use either granulated millets or whole millets add six to eight glass of water for one glass of millets if you want to make it more watery add 10 glasses or even to make millet porridge okay soak it for eight hours cook it on a open top vessel once it is cooked let it become cooled by opening the lid okay tie the top using a cotton cloth once it is cooled down okay keep it aside for eight to eight eight to ten hours and then uh, have it okay uh, but if it is summer you can wait up to six to seven hours six to seven hours is sufficient in the summer season exercise is mandatory okay very much important for this problem particularly uh, you have to walk for one hour minimum a day and increase your walking time slowly day by day okay maybe in the first day you will you run you walk for you walk it for only one half an hour okay continue that half an hour schedule for one week and then increase it to 45 minutes like that and with what speed you walk uh, that doesn't matter okay you can walk slowly also that's not a big deal uh, but you have to increase the walking time okay varicose veins especially for varicose veins apply tomato juice over varicose veins and clean the clean with the water after some time okay keep it for some time and then wash it with the water okay and do this asana uh, for 15 minutes daily okay this is all okay you have to keep your feet like this okay this is very important for varicose veins they have to do it daily foods to avoid milk and all dairy products rice and wheat products refined oil sugar and jaggery you have to avoid if you are not diabetic you can consume dates pure honey 100 percent pure honey and palm jaggery okay wheat powder and refined wheat powder tea coffee all bakery products all polished millets are refined millets non-vegetarian food cool drinks pizzas burgers pastas noodles all canned foods all ready-made foods and all ready to eat foods you have to avoid now you will be looking at how to make a, a concoction using any one of the leaves okay so we are going to see how to make a papaya leaves concoction okay first take 250 to 300 ml of water okay in a uh, vessel and then close the lid now close the top using lid okay then switch on the stove uh, let it boil for a while okay when the water is uh, warm enough then you have to add papaya leaves okay i will show you once uh, the water gets boiled up yes the water got boiled up now okay let's remove and see fine now we have to place two leaves uh, uh, of this size okay that means uh, uh, that is only one one tenth of the leaf maybe okay so this much is enough sufficient okay to make concoction let's close the uh, vessel okay and then you have to uh, boil it for again uh, three to four minutes in a low flame okay okay now it got boiled up okay uh, you have to uh, close the lid and uh, wait for three to four minutes okay once it got boiled up then you can have concoction and one more important thing is uh, some people may not like the taste of the papaya leaves concoction for them uh, i suggest to add uh, some palm jaggery in it okay to have a better taste not for the diabetic people or uh, anyone who uh, do not have uh, di diabetes they can have they can have palm jaggery okay yes uh, four minutes is over now i am uh, what i am doing is uh, i have to filter out right i will be filtering out uh, the content okay let's filter the that one out okay using a filter fine like this you have to filter out the contents okay yeah 
in every concoction you will be remained with the uh, boiled uh, leaves that you can omit that means that you can place in the dustbin okay that is of no use right so that's it see the color yeah some people may not like uh, so for them i am telling to add uh, palm jaggery if they are not diabetic okay and uh, drink it uh, sip by sip okay take a spoon uh, drink it uh, slowly sip by sip okay see how beautiful this nature is you also start planting the trees let us bring a new change in our society let us plant the trees and let others plant the trees let's take this pledge seriously from now thank you